And the Lagos state government says arrangements have been concluded for a heat-free celebration of this year's food festival. Commissioner for Agriculture, Bisola Olusoya, who stated this at a media briefing in Lagos, said this year's event will be a fusion of different flavors. She said the annual festival, which evolves from the Seafood Festival, is meant to showcase the huge potential of the state to the outside world. And then let's say last year, we were paying at our 600, 700. This year is a different story. So, speaking in Naira and common terms, really, it's not the way to go. What is more important is the networking capabilities that have been created and the opportunity for a small SME to grow into a big business. And someone who now otherwise maybe done an annual sale of 10 million naira just by reason of that business alone is now doing a business of 50 million, 100 million at the end of the year. For us, that is a real gain as a state government because from being an SME that has only maybe one or two employees, by reason of your growth, they are now having 15, 20, 30 employees. That is a real gain for us as a state government. So it's about a platform being created to showcase the potential. Olusanya explained that the 2023 Lagos Food Festival is coming with a bang as families will have access to continental delicacies from Asia, Brazil, Europe and Africa. So you have Ministry of Tourism, which every year would do some celebrations, annual celebrations across the state. Um, the reason why we choose the mainland and the island is not so much about mainland versus island, but the fact that we have a central space managed by the Lagos State Parks and Gardens Agency. Um, it is convenient for most people because it's an easy landmark to identify. Um, access to the location is good. You can take that mainland, you can come through a gold bridge, you can come down on the car, and also ways to get out of there is good enough. Look forward to the 10th of December. Uh, our most dynamic and supportive partner. Mr. Governor, Mr. Robert Hill, Mr. Raskabulu, he's uh, is our number one agric farmer and number one supporter of the Ministry of Agri. We really thank him for supporting us at all times. And of course, we cannot but thank our able honorable commissioner for always being in front to champion the cause of Agri. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.